are not really into golf, okay? There's something called a breakfast ball, okay? No, That's when your first shot of the day in the morning <laughs> goes into the woods or in the lumber yard or wherever it goes. You've been there. You're, well, I mean, yes. Um, so you're offered another shot. So a mulligan. A mulligan, Rich. If you will. It's time to either take your uh, breakfast ball and get to mulligan or just keep that and play out of the woods. What would you like to do, Michael? You want to revisit the issue of who wins the NFC East right now? Or what? Well, it, but, but I told you this anyway, Rich. I told you guys that sometimes, you know, how difficult it is for me when we're dealing with least and, and talking about things that are yes. at the bottom. So I, I'm expecting to be foggy when we come to these situations. You know, <laughs> I, this is understandable. But let me tell you, I, I know because a couple weeks ago I said it looked like the Giants. They were the only team, and they were the only team kicking up, and then the Cowboys stepped up and made some, a couple great defenses. They looked like they were ready. And, and you know, and even Champ allowed me to get emotionally involved a little bit more. But then, of course, they, they, they let us down again. And yeah. now it looks like Washington, Coach. I say Washington right now is the team to beat. And, and, and the thing is, in the story of 2020, it's Alex Smith that really solidifies right. this football team now. Think mm -hmm. about that. And, and, and that's an incredible story right there because that defense plays well, but then Alex Smith doesn't take those crazy risks up the field mm -hmm. that the other guys have done and, and, and therefore got them in the game. So, Irv, you, went, you had the Giants for a while. I, I had Who's the Giants. Giants. Then you had the Cowboys. Co now you have the I, yeah, I said, Washington. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think Washington right now looks the best. You're a flip-flopper. And so, I, so, Rich, I didn't say they would run the table. I said they would win the division. There's I'm gathering in new information all right. as we go. So, I mean, when you look at Dallas, they can win seven games. I didn't say they would win them all. So, Mooch is playing seven, out of the woods. You're going to play out of the woods. <laughs> I'm gonna, hey, Mike's Washington gonna plays team. at the Steelers <laughs> next, all right? So, yes. you know, huh? different schedules. Right. And then Dallas, they can win these games. Yes. They have Baltimore. They have 20 guys out right, right now, now with COVID. Right, right. And then it's right Cincinnati now. with no Burrow. And it's right. the 49 Eagles and the Giants. They can win these games. They lost another set of tackles, Coach. Haven't we learned, though? How many though, tackles can they lose? Uh, it's, we're saying the same thing now. That's Haven't we saying. learned, though, that in the NFC East in 2020, nobody wins games that they're supposed to win? Even though the Giants today taking on Brandon Allen, that would give them three straight wins in a row. And you know who swept the Washington football team this year? The team that I said on Thanksgiving morning was going to win the NFC East, the Giants. The Giants. Yep. Yeah. Just throwing that out yeah, there. So, yeah, in, again, schedule. enjoy being back in the but fairway. <laughs> and, and, again, Mooch, yeah. you should just get out in the fairway, just keep hacking out of the woods, and then maybe maybe you'll find the green. Maybe. The Broncos and the Saints today. What a fascinating contest this is. Although, I'm sure James Palmer, the Broncos, would use a different word than fascinating. They're out of quarterbacks today. Take it away, James. Well, you're right, Rich. And yesterday, I'm told that President and CEO Joe Ellis, John Elway, and Vic Fangio pleaded to the NFL to have this game pushed back to tomorrow, where most likely three of their quarterbacks that have been considered close contacts, including starter Drew Locke, would be available. Now, they were close contacts on Wednesday, but it wasn't until yesterday at about 12:45 during practice they were literally pulled off the field. So coaches continue to throw pra throw passes, and it was offensive quality control coach Rob Calabrese who was throwing a lot of those passes and they considered actually rich using him as their quarterback that was deemed illegal so they're going with kendall hinton as their starter who a month ago rich was working in sales uh, i mean it really you really could not if you will make this up kendall hinton as you could see has gotten some time at wake forest but his time was as a freshman he moved to wide receiver in 2018 and he hasn't thrown a pass since 2017 against clemson he also has last touchdown pass. However, that's more recent than the last touchdown pass thrown by Taysom Hill, who is the Saints starter. Our, our great colleagues at NFL Research, Kurt Warner, looked it up. Since 1950, Week 12 is the latest in an NFL season we've ever seen a game feature a matchup of two quarterbacks, starting quarterbacks, coming in with zero passing touchdowns on their resumes. And Hinton, in particular, this is his first NFL game, period, at wide receiver or quarterback. He woke up yesterday morning having no idea he'd be starting against the New Orleans Saints of all teams. I, 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 but I guess you would know about being pressed into service when least expected. So how do you think this affects the Broncos today in any way, shape, or form? Yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, me being pressed into service was nothing like this. I mean, to think that they're considering and reaching out to figure out if they could use a coach 
as their quarterback. I mean, this is unprecedented, obviously, like a lot of things in 2020. And the first thing we, we can look at is the, the physical side of it, right? Is he didn't take any snaps. They don't know what kind of offense they're going to run. It's a completely different kind of quarterback than what they've had in that quarterback room. But the other side of that, Rich, is the mental side, not just for Hinton, but for this entire team. I mean, you're going into this game, every game so big in the National Football League, and you find out the day before that none of your quarterbacks can play. What does that do to the psyche of the rest of the team? I mean, I've had teammates that were game time decisions and, and you know, big time playmakers for you and they can't play and I just remember the drop in the mental side of things like oh man we're losing one of our best players you lose all of your quarterbacks I have no idea what the mindset has to be for that entire offense for that entire team knowing we're going into a game with a guy that's never taken a snap at quarterback for us with a new offense that we haven't even run it really is unbelievable and um, and we'll have so much more to talk about on this show, on this game. Von Miller even tweeted out yesterday, how about me, essentially? He says his ankle's good for quarterback. Maybe not. Going ahead and rushing the passer. Just on the games this year. Take it away, Sarah Walsh. Rich, three quarterbacks have ever thrown for 50 touchdowns in a season, and two of them will be on the field today. Patrick Mahomes says this is no popularity contest with Tom Brady. He says Brady's the global star, and Mahomes is just trying to be himself. Bruce Arians tells us what makes Mahomes so unique is he does things you really shouldn't do. He said he'll throw it back across the field, sidearm, underhand, and he does it all accurately. Brady is still trying to find his rhythm in this offense. Nine interceptions, and the deep ball has eluded him. But Chiefs defensive coordinator Steve Spagnuolo throws out those recent struggles and says we prepare for a player at his best and he certainly hopes that Brady is not on Sunday because he says at his best we all know what Tom Brady can do. This is the marquee matchup of the season. Play together, play Sends this game to overtime. For the win! And the foul for Super Bowl 53! You have the MVP of the league against the greatest of all time. A rabbit out of a hat! Throws it down, baby! Somebody started to heat up and he wears number 12. Patrick Mahomes' revolution continues. Look out, NFL! be great later on today indeed well let's just hope it's better than roy jones and tyson right you know what i'm saying <laughs> look at those numbers it's interesting brady's gotten three mvps in his career but none in the first four seasons as patrick mahomes has notched and a second one could be coming later on this year kurt warner joining us here now once again on nfl game day morning from home the game plan for brady and, Bu and the bucks to beat the chiefs today would be what what are they cooking up with arians and Byron Leftwich. Rich, this is a team that has been wildly inconsistent. At times, they've been really, really good and really efficient. And in other games, they've been very inefficient. I mean, twice as many points in their wins as losses, twice as many red zone trips, twice as many big plays in their wins. And so they've got to find a way to be that efficient team. And I believe it starts with playing more Tom Brady ball as opposed to Bruce Arians ball, meaning more of the dink and dunk, more of the complete passes and get first downs instead of trying to wing the ball down the field. We've noticed over the last four or five games, Tom Brady has really struggled to complete those big balls. So we need the efficient version of the Bucks today. And I believe, once again, it starts with Tom Brady tight ball. Get the ball out of his hands, protect him, and get completions, get first downs, and then make sure you finish it with points. And then, of course, there's that defensive side of the football that's going to have their hands full when Patrick Mahomes takes the field. Still to come later in the show, Michael Irvin sits down with Derek Henry here on NFL Game Day Morning in advance of the Titans and Colts. When you do, Stephon, is it just a certain way you do it, or do you have...